For someone with Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia, simply communicating with loved ones can be a challenge. For family members, friends, and caregivers, it can also be frustrating. Let's take a moment to try to put ourselves in their shoes and see what we can do to improve communication with the people we care so much about. First, make sure you have their attention. You can reduce a lot of frustration by establishing eye contact before you begin speaking. Don't assume that just because you're standing in front of someone with Alzheimer's disease, they're paying attention to you. Alzheimer's robs people of their peripheral vision, so even if you're standing just a little bit to someone's side, they might not see you at all. Another challenge for people with Alzheimer's disease is difficulty concentrating. Make sure that the person you're trying to communicate with is paying attention to you. Address them by name and wait for them to respond before continuing. Second, use simple sentences and slow down. Once you've established a connection and have their attention, the worst thing you can do is to cover too much ground too quickly. For example, we'd like to take you out to dinner. Would you like to go out for steak, seafood, pizza, or buffet? Since those are two separate decisions, first ask if they would like to go out to dinner and then ask where they'd like to go to. And even though you're trying to be considerate, it's usually best to offer only two options. Offering too many choices can be extremely confusing. Finally, don't put them on the spot. All too often, friends and loved ones unwittingly create anxiety for loved ones with Alzheimer's. To someone with dementia, questions like, you remember John, don't you? Or what did you have for breakfast today? Can feel like a pop quiz that they don't know the answers to. What if they don't remember John? or what they had for breakfast. Dementia does not make people forget how to feel embarrassed and ashamed. So while these are well-meaning questions, it would be much better to phrase them a little differently. Saying, hey mom, John from our old neighborhood is here to see you, or how was breakfast today? is much less likely to create anxiety or confusion, which significantly increases the likelihood of positive experience for everyone.